Oh, you're saying then uh, the capital gains tax is where you have uh, this huge lump sum of money, and then the state basically takes thirty to fifty percent on the where wherever it is, uh, what state you're in. Is there a way to go about avoiding that, or are you helping people um, just trying to calculate how much they do need to give so they're not giving that higher end, they're rather giving a lower end, or is there a way to surpass it for the most part altogether where you'd be paying like an eight percent tax? Yeah, there is. So, and it just depends on how long you've held the coin, right? Or how long yeah. you've held the asset. And so, um, what we we love right now um, for our, our real niche focus is something called a deferred sales trust, and it's based upon 1920s tax law. It, it goes back a long time, and this particular strategy has been used for 25 years. It's been tested by the IRS over a dozen times, and uh, what what it does is it allows you to to defer the tax, not avoid which is key here, right? Defer the tax. And instead of taking, let's say, and actually I'll have a live deal right now. It's an Ethereum case. And, and the, the yeah. couple, they bought Ethereum over the last five to six years. They put about $100,000 into it over five or six years. And it's it ballooned up to like $15 million, okay? And so they're wow. looking at somewhere around, and it dropped back down. So maybe, maybe like around like 10 right now. So it, it's, it's, it's look, he, he's looking at about that $9.9 .9 million liability or uh, gain, which again, call it 40% of that. He's about to write a check for, for, for what, four, $4 million. So for him, he's going, well, I can sell and pay the tax or, uh, this is where we come in. You can sell and you can defer the tax. You can defer all of the gain. And uh, by putting all of it into this trust, it's a particular business trust. It's not like a family living trust. It doesn't have yeah. anything to do with probate. Um, it's kind of like a 401k. It's kind of like an IRA. And what the government says is, hey, as long as you park it here and you put, you invest it into stocks, bonds, mutual funds, real estate, a business, um, you can do hard money lending, you can do ground up development. As long as it's investment yeah. or business purpose, We'll allow you to defer it and live off the interest. And what's neat okay. is the you still owe the money. It's just an interest for a loan from the government. It's just interest free loan from the government. And so he's going to take the 10 million, he's going to invest it. And guess what? So he's taking this money that's out in outer space somewhere, or out on the internet or somewhere. Yeah. Right. He's selling it. He's bringing it to hard assets like real estate and he's going to start getting cash flow. And that's the transformation. He can literally okay. walk away from his job, never have to work again, spend time with his kids. Right. He's working, you know, 50, 60 hour weeks in the tech industry. And so is his wife as an attorney. And so they're looking at this as like, this is transformational wealth and for our time freedom, if that makes sense. You have just listened to another information packed episode of Capital Gains Tax Solutions with Brett Swartz. We hope you enjoyed today's show and found it helpful. Visit CapitalGainsTaxSolutions.com to access the show notes and to access more resources. Don't forget to leave a review and join us again next time.